Hey everybody, and welcome to Let's Play Dun 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 Yeah, that went pretty horribly. Nancy Drew, Tomb of the Lost Queen, everybody. It is finally time to return to the world of Nancy Drew, and I am super hyped! Oh man, I made a promise to you guys way back when that I was going to play through all of these, and I intend to make good on that. I love playing through these games, and I don't know, they're just so much fun, right? I mean, they're just fun, light adventure games filled with some fun puzzles. Nothing crazy serious, just lots of fun puzzles, and just going around and snooping and meeting characters. It just never gets old somehow. Uh, before we get started with this, though, let me just give you a brief rundown on the state of Nancy Drew right now and what I'm planning to do. So, as of right now, there has been no new news that I've been hearing recently about the newest game that is slated for release, which is apparently titled Midnight in Salem. Um, it was previewed back at the very end of Sea of Darkness, the last Nancy Drew game, and since then, I, here's what I've heard. Basically, her interactive wants to make the games in Unity 3D now, so no more static images and stuff like we've had in these games. It's going to be a fully 3D environment now, which is pretty exciting. However, that means a longer development time, but hopefully a better game in the long run. But since August 2015, there has been no uh, news regarding the game since then. They were hoping for a 2016 release, but... As we can now see, it's 2017, there hasn't been anything revealed ever since that point. So, in the meantime, I'm going to continue doing Nancy Drew Let's Plays uh, periodically throughout the channel. I'm planning to alternate these with other games, so they're not going to be all strung together in a row or anything like that, uh, unless I just have nothing else going on. But I thought I would do this one for a couple of reasons. One is that um, it's one of the few modern Nancy Drew games that I haven't played yet. Um, along with the remaster of the very first game, Secrets Can Kill. And I want to play that one after this one, uh, in the sequence I've got intended for this, because I'm planning to go through all the old ones, and I'd like to do it in order. The latest of the old ones I've played is Trail of the Twister, so everything before that, which is about 21 games, I think, I still have yet to play on this channel. I mean, that's a lot. And I'm planning to start it with the remaster of the first one, because the second game, uh, Stay Tuned for Danger, which was previously discontinued, has since been re-released. So I'm really excited to play that. So I'm planning to go through this one, do something else, and then go back and do Secrets Can Kill, and then transition into the older stuff, starting with Stay Tuned for Danger, moving all the way to Warnings at Waverly Academy. I'm really excited to do this. But for now, we're going to start with Two of the Lost Queen. As usual, I'm going to do Master Sleuth. More challenging puzzles. Let's see what we got here. Sixty years ago, a violent sandstorm uncovered an ancient tomb in the desert outside Cairo. Mm. A British expedition Sepia. set off in hope of finally finding Egypt's legendary lost queen. The expedition never returned. The explorers were lost, presumed dead. Dun dun dun! For 60 years, the grisly tale of the cursed team remained the only proof of the tomb's existence. How's that really proof, though? Present day, 100 kilometers outside Cairo, Kingston University dig site, KU 67. Alright, can we move around? Or Whoa! John, are you okay? Somebody call oh, no. Don't move. Help is on the way. Nancy, what have I missed? A lot, actually. The crew left after the storm. They kept talking about the old team that disappeared, and then they were gone. Oh, who cares? I'm just glad you're okay. About that... What? Well, the docs here say there's reason to believe I was attacked. Nancy, you're the only one I can trust now. I need you to be my eyes and ears until I can get out of here. 
but I just came here to job shadow you. Are you sure? Will you be coming back? As soon as they release me. Until then, keep me updated on what you're seeing. I've got some notes in my bunk area. Get caught up to speed. Keep everything you find between you and me. The less you seem to know, the safer you'll be. Got it. I'll see if I can prove whose tomb this is and find out who attacked you. So this is John. It seems like this is the guy who was attacked in the sandstorm based on what we just saw. We just went through abduction. We have another sandstorm here. See ya. Catch you later. All right. Let's see what we've got here. Um, I'm playing through this semi-blind. I once watched a play through this game, but it's been a long time. I mean, it's been several years since this game was released, so I barely remember any of this. So this will be pretty fresh for me. Let's see. There's nothing apparently in there. Hey, there's a girl here. Uh, I'm going to wait to talk to her until later. I, I want to look at Whoa, stuff. Whoa, you cannot go back there. Oh. Hi, okay. Nancy. Professor Boyle is gone, and I have to say this to keep things from getting awkward, but look, I'm assuming the authority in the time being. I guess we're talking Are you now. sure everyone here agrees to that? I just meant the American team, which is just you. Oh. Well, okay. But we've been on adventures before. I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can, but can you take care of a site that's thousands of years old? I'll answer that for you. No. You cannot. Is that necessary? Do we really need someone in charge? Yes, it is. But it shouldn't affect you all that much. I'm not going to go on a power trip or anything crazy. Trust me. I just don't want the site to fall into chaos. I'm working entirely out of Professor Boyle's playbook. Well, if that's the case, maybe she can help us. I'm looking for Professor Boyle's notes. His notes are off limits. Ooh. He wants me to have them. Call him if you don't believe me. I will. Trust me. Okay. Did you see what happened to Professor Boyle? I couldn't see a thing. I couldn't keep my eyes open for a second. Did you know Professor Boyle was attacked? At least that's what the doctors think. Who told you that? He did. Don't worry. He's probably just all turned around from the injury. There's nothing to worry about here. Yeah, Nancy. I mean... I don't know. <laughs> Do you really trust someone who's been delirious after a thing like that? Okay, in all seriousness, I'd probably be wondering too, but I don't know if I would use that as proof that he got attacked. I'd better get going. See ya! Alright, so this is Lily. She's automatically assuming charge, apparently. And we'll probably have to wait to get the professor guy's notes, so let's see what else we got here. Great! I could use this to translate the hieroglyphs. Oh, cool. Wait a minute. Papyrus font? Come on, whoever published this book. Seriously? Aw. So, is this a picture of Nancy and this is Bess and George? Ah. How to read Egyptian hieroglyphs. Egyptian hieroglyphs are one of the oldest writing systems in the world, dating back to before 3000 BC. Hieroglyphs, which means sacred inscriptions in Greek, were used mainly for inscriptions in temples and tombs. There are three basic groups of signs, phonograms, ideograms, and determinatives. Phonograms, or sound signs, are signs that represent a sound, like the letters in the English alphabet. Unlike our modern alphabet, an individual phonogram could also represent two or three sounds. Single sound signs are known as unilaterals or unilaterals. Two sound signs such as PR are biliteral and three sound signs such as WSR are triliterals. Ideograms or sense signs represent the actual object depicted. They were originally drawn with a single stroke sign beneath them, indicating that they were to be read as an ideogram and not a phonogram. Determinatives or labeling signs are ideograms that appear at the end of a word to give an indication of its general meaning. A hieroglyph depicting two feet is frequently seen as a determinative to indicate movement or walking. Translating hieroglyphs sounds into script is known as transliteration. When translating, it is important to know that ancient Egyptians did not write vowels. Interesting. So we can use this, hopefully, to figure some stuff out. And come on, papyrus, more papyrus. This allowed for signs to represent a variety of words and is why names and places can be written differently depending on the translator. For example, Taret, Taret, and Tawaret all refer to the goddess Tawaret. 
The tables, figures 1 and 2, show the uniliteral alphabet with transliterated hieroglyphs in the English equivalent. Hieroglyphs are written horizontally or vertically, and could be read from left to right or right to left. To determine the direction in which to read, look at the hieroglyphs of living creatures. If they are facing to the left, then read from left to right. If they are facing right, then read the hieroglyphs from right to left. Signs could also be stacked together for aesthetic or practical reasons. In that case, always read the sign above first and the sign below second before moving on to the next sign. Ancient Egyptian is a dead language unused since the 4th century AD. It remained a mystery until 1822, when scholar Jean-Francois Champollion announced that he had deciphered the hieroglyphs on the Rosetta Stone. Building upon its discovery, scholars continue to decode the ancient language. Today, hieroglyphs can be read in their entirety. Even though we are able to read hieroglyphs, it remains unknown how the language should re sound when spoken. Okay, and we got a Coco Kringle bar. Have I mentioned that I was able to get one in real life? These things are amazing. So I, I, apparently this is our stuff. At least I'm going to guess it's our stuff. Nothing in that one. What about this one? Stay out of there! Aw, I want to go in there. Alright, um... Can we go? Oh, here we go. This game looks cool. Can we play? Yes. The Ooh, goal like is to get all of your pieces off the board first. When a token reaches the last square, it's removed from the board. To move, throw the sticks. The number of light sticks determines how many spaces you move. If all four sticks are dark, then you get to move five squares. Oh, this is a luck-based board game. I threw really? a two. Well, what does that mean? You can move any of your tokens to either an empty square or a square occupied by your opponent. So, which one am I? Am I this one? Can't do that. Uh, this one? No. Can't do that. Why can't I do that? Can I only move the last one? If you throw a one, four, or five, oh. move a token and then throw the sticks again. You if no here? moves are available, the player skips their turn. I've rolled a three, so I'll move my token three spaces. If you land on an opponent, you swap places sending your opponent's token back to your token starting position. Ah. If an opponent has two or more tokens in adjacent squares, then they've created a block. You can't swap places with a token in a block, but you can move over it. There are five special squares on the board, each with their own name and design. The square with the onk is a safe square, and the token on this square can't be swapped. Cool. All tokens must stop on the square with the bird, even if the throw would have moved them past it. They can move past it on their next turn. Landing on the square with the water sends that token back to the square with the Ankh. The last two are safe squares, so tokens can't be swapped. Let's start a game. You can go first. All right. Oh, uh, let's roll. Feels weird to call that rolling. Uh, we got two. And right now we can't really swap with her, so we, our only choice is to do this. I'm really confused by like how many you can go forward. Do you just keep going until This is really weird. Because I've created a block, right? Oh, she landed on the safe square. Wait, where'd my other stick go? Uh there it is. So I get two. Can't do that. Oh right, I can't do that. Uh, let's move that one. Sweet, I got four light ones. So I'm gonna go. Let's do. Can't this. do that. Wait, don't I move five? Cause I got four. All right, I'm confused. Can't do that. Oh, this is a block, right? Okay, so I can't do that either. Uh, I'm gonna continue moving this guy. Back to where you came from. Ooh. That's cold, Lily. Oh. Okay. We need to ramp up our strategy here, guys. Can we do this? Can't do that. No. Can't do that. All right. I'm just going to keep doing this. All 
All right, as long as I can stay far enough ahead of her, I think we're good. Okay, I don't want to move that one. Uh, I'm going to do this. One. Uh, why don't we do this one? We'll create a block. Perfect. All right. I think we're in a good spot. Uh, let's do this one. I don't want to go to the water. Perfect. Uh-oh. Perfect, all right. We got one off the board. Two, let's do that. All right, she's got one off the board. Can't do that. Wait, I can't just move four and send her back over there? Why? That was probably a bad idea. Can't do that. Why can't I go there? Apparently I don't understand this game. Okay, we're keeping up the, the formation here. Look out! Yeah, there we go. Take that. Aha! Hey! No! Oh, I should have known. Can't do that. Grr. I'll do that. Hmm. Now she's created a block. Uh, let's do this. I'm also lost as to what determines when our turn ends. No fair! Ha ha! Ha! Yes! Alright, take that, Lily. Alright, so we gotta start moving these guys here. Oh, that's a tough one. Um, I'll do that for now. Two, I'll keep staggering these forward here. Bad news for you! No! 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 Okay, good. I was afraid she would move Bad that. news for you! No! She did! Oh, brother. Okay. Let's just keep these two together. I think... I'm just gonna keep doing this. So really, as long as you keep them together, then... Oh, this is where you can use five, right? When you get all dark ones? I think that's what she was saying, wasn't it? Hmm. Can't do that. Why? I can just move two and send her back, right? I I don't know. I don't like this game anymore. Can't do that. Still can't do that. We'll continue doing this. Back to where you came from. Ah! Can't do that. <sighs> um, that's probably a horrible idea. Hey. Yeah. Figured as much. Can't do that. Why can't I do awesome stuff? This game is silly. Can't do that. I, I can't do that either. Really, really, game. Okay, I'm not going to fall for that trap again, so we're just going to do this. No way! Okay, I was afraid she was going to move that. Okay. I don't want to move this. Oh, wait, no, I do. That's only three. So, we'll do this one. Oh, boy. 
Look out! Yes! Alright, I don't want to move this forward until I can actually get onto a safe space. I'm gonna do this. No fair! Yes, That's fair. cold, Lily. No! Ugh, I hate luck games. Alright. No fair! Let's do that again. Walk it off, Drew. <sighs> okay, perfect. That's what I was hoping for. Can't do that. Wait, I can't? Oh, because I would have to go through the bird. Oh, right. That is the one disadvantage of that strategy, isn't it? Back to where you came from. Okay, as long as you don't... Well, I guess going one space back is a really big deal. Rats! Good. Back to where you came from. Uh. Ha! <laughs> I'm just gonna keep this up. We'll see what happens here. Hey! Okay, uh, it's better than going back to the Ankh, right? There we go. Oh, that's right. I had to stop on the bird, don't I? I keep forgetting about that little detail. Can't do that. Why can't I do that? It wasn't two or more blockers. That three or more. I guess that's three or more. Can't do that. But I can do that apparently. Bad news for you. That's not that bad. I mean, it's annoying, but it's not that bad. And let's do this. So, what I think what will help here is that she's still got four pieces left to work with here. We've only got two now. So, I think that will really come in handy. Can't do that. Can't do that. That is the worst thing ever. Okay. Good. I'm still lost as to how many turns you take. That's, that's the one detail I can't get past here. Can only move this one. I guess when you pass somebody, is that how it works? Can't do that. Uh, oh, because she's on the onk, of course. Okay. Rats. Yes. I might as well just do the bird now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get safe here. So I guess once you pass somebody, then that's... Or maybe you have a maximum limit thing. I'm gonna go ahead and do this, because I want to maximize my... ...distance here as best I can. Okay. Let's continue running away here. Don't want to do that, so let's do this. As long as I don't... I'm, I'm not forced to land in the water, I think we're good. I'm forced to... Wait, no, I have to stop the bird. Right, okay. As long as I don't get a 1 on this next one, I'm fine. Okay. Oh, wait, I had to roll. Good. Okay. Thank goodness. Yay! Oh, yeah! We won! Whatever this game's called. Alright, I've had enough of that. <laughs> Alright, so I think that's all we can really do here. I don't really see anywhere else we can go. I need to get used to this navigation again. It's been a long time. We need to find the burial chamber as our first major task. So, um, yeah... We know that this guy said he was attacked. Not exactly sure if that's true yet, but we'll have to find out. Of course, this is a Nancy Drew mystery, so somebody's got to be behind it, right? 
And I think in the next video, we're going to venture out into the great Sandy Yonder and check out what is in this archaeological dig. So until then, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to like, comment, or subscribe. Just lets me know I'm doing something right and that you're enjoying the content. And either way, I will catch you on the flip side. So take care, and I will see you next time.